discussion forward. Sandeep Parikh, founder of Fintech Law Advisors, joins us on the show right now. Sandeep, hi, good morning. Uh, well, the recommendations so far seem to be indicating some major easing. Does it seem like they would be that easy to go through? Yes, I think these are <coughs> unintended consequence of the circular which is drafted in April, and it causes me it kind of caused mayhem because it seemed to bar uh, people of Indian, not all, but many people of Indian origin from managing money which is going into India, uh, whether it's kind of NRI money or whether it's uh, uh, foreign money. So that was obviously not a consequence which you'd like. We would like Indian fund managers to, who are best placed to manage money flowing into India, to in fact manage that those funds. So I think they've come out with... Uh, uh, two, I think two principles. The first is uh, th that uh, the whole concept of end beneficial owner, which means you know finding out the natural human being at the end of the chain. So if a company owns another company and that company is again owned by a third company, you want to go down uh, to tunnel until you find an actual uh, walking, talking human being. Um, so I think that they've uh, managed to retain. Uh, but... Earlier, the source of KYC was also being used to disbar NRIs. I think that uh, second problem area has been uh, usually diluted now, which is a good thing because, as I said, you know, we would like to have uh, yeah, Indian origin people managing Indian money because they are the best place people. So you're saying that there is a strong case these recommendations may be taken up by SEBI and the government and they may actually see uh, take final shape? Exactly. And of course, SEBI has been part of the discussion when this was going on. So uh, it's not a completely external committee. It's actually called a working group. So I'm quite hopeful that they will actually uh, accept the recommendation. They still, I think, even finance ministry representatives, representatives were there as part of the meeting. In fact, they'd invited us to give our comments uh, and another entity. I think I'm quite uh, hopeful that they're going to accept these uh, interim recommendations. And then, of course, uh, this is also subject to public consultation and uh, comments from people. And then I think they will have a final report out in, uh, in a bit. Sandeep, you know, just to help uh, the, uh, understand this a little better, the FBI panel is recommending that allow NRIs, allow OCIs and resident Indians to hold non-controlling stake in FBIs. They're Perfect. also suggesting that SEBI should consult the government to evolve the criteria of defining high-risk jurisdictions. So if these three categories are actually out of that high-risk uh, uh, you know, juris ju uh, jurisdiction group. Who exactly are they targeting then eventually? No, no. So these are, these are two different criterions. So one criterion is whether you are NRI OCI. Uh, and the other is whether you're coming from, these are overlapping and kind of different tests. It's, so uh, if you're coming from, let's say, Syria, yeah, we, they will not allow, allow, you know, or they'll do an enhanced KYC. Uh, so, I mean, uh, these, these are completely independent tests and not really connected to each other. Okay, Sandeep, good example there. But uh, thanks so much for taking the time out and giving us your quick reaction. So, major easing, that is what the FBI panel seems to be suggesting. But remember, these are not final just yet. Uh, we've seen a massive pullout in just the last five trading sessions to the tune of about 5,600 crore rupees from the FBI's. And if indeed these recommendations do go through, uh, this should help really resolve the matter.